a lot about Mr. Carter's legacy of service. Our live team coverage continues with Dennis Valera. He's in southwest Baltimore with more on his work for Habitat for Humanity. Dennis. Yes, Mike, you know, former President Carter and his wife, Rosalind, they are known as the most famous volunteers for Habitat. Habitat even named a yearly project after them. That project that has built homes all around the world here in Maryland, nearly 800 have been built, and they say it's all thanks to the Carters. So this will be a um, mother and is it two children? This home will soon be Habitat for Humanity of the Chesapeake's next handoff to a family in need. It's one of dozens of homes they're currently working on. In his seven years with Habitat, Chief Advancement Officer Greg Mitchell says they wouldn't have had this much success if it weren't for former President Jimmy Carter. A lot of people think he's, he founded the organization. In fact, he elevated the, the visibility of the organization. Greg says President Carter and former First Lady Rosalind Spotlight brought much needed funding and help. What happened when he came and lifted a, ha a hammer, then volunteers and money and support followed. And clearly, we were able to do many, many more houses than we would have if he hadn't come. From 1984 to 2019, the Carters partnered with Habitat to build homes all around the world. Dubbed the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project, they made two stops in Baltimore. During his 2010 visit, he told WJZ how this work is an extension of his Christian beliefs. You cross a border between rich people that have everything like we do and people who need a home like these folks. And Habitat is the best avenue I've ever found to cross that border very easily. Greg says while the Carters are the most famous Habitat volunteers, they're also the gold standard. He was a willing to take action. Caring alone is wonderful. Caring matched with action is, in fact, absolutely precious. And we're so grateful for their big hearts. Great news for the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project. It is coming back this year after several years off. It will be in October in Charlotte, North Carolina. Reporting live in Hailthorpe, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ. Now, Dennis and Mike with great coverage. Thank you.